Let's talk about the stereochemistry of the SN2 reaction. This is important when your organohalide is at a chiral center. So if there's a chiral center where the halogen is attached, this is going to be an important impact here. So in this case, if you assign the RNS configuration to this chiral center, you should find that it has the R configuration. Then what will happen is your nucleophile will attack from the back side of the leaving group. So the leaving group is pointed here to the right. The nucleophile comes in completely opposite that. So it will come in from this side over here. So remember, nucleophiles always do backside attack to the leaving group. So now we're going to do something we don't normally do, and that's draw a transition state structure. Normally we draw starting material, intermediate, and products, but this time I'm going to draw the transition state. And to denote that it's a transition state instead of an intermediate, I'm going to put it in brackets. And I'm going to put this little T double dagger to denote a transition state. Transition states are where bonds are being make, made and broken. So in this case, I'm going to have my carbon with the ethyl, methyl, and hydrogen still intact. So I'll draw those in. And then we have partial bond making to the OH. And partial bond breaking to the I. And then as this bond continues to form and this bond continues to break, the OH is going to be added and it will be in the plane on this side. So opposite where the I was in the plane on the right, the OH will be in the plane on the left. So let's draw that product. There's the ethyl. Now in the plane over here, I have the OH. And then I still have the H out and the methyl back, but they're on the other side. So instead of being on the left out and back, they're on the right. So think of this almost as an umbrella flipping inside out. So you have these groups here. As you do this step, you get this intermediate where it's flattened out, and then those groups flip over to the other side. The net result is we've gone from one chiral center to another chiral center, but the configuration changes because the chiral center underwent inversion. So in summary, if the leaving group is at a chiral center, the stereochemistry is inverted at that chiral center during the reaction. The SN2 is called a concerted reaction. This just means that the reaction takes place in a single step with no intermediates. And if we draw a reaction coordinate diagram for the SN2, we'll have a starting material and a product. There's no intermediate, but we go over a transition state hump to get to the product. So this transition state hump is the structure that we drew right here. Again, we usually don't draw transition states but it is useful in this particular reaction.